down? AT&T says it's a little different. The company says the hackers didn't get personal information like social security numbers or birth dates, but they did access data showing which phone numbers customers called or texted with from May through October of 2022. AT&T says, quote, at this time, we do not believe the data is publicly available. The company says they're working with law enforcement to investigate and one person has already been arrested. The text messages themselves are not in there. The contents of phone calls are not in there. Um, so it's very small chance that it could do any damage. Maybe a little embarrassing if it shows that you were calling your ex. But other than that, it's, it's not very damaging. So AT&T says it first learned of the illegal download in April. Keep an eye out. If you were affected, the company is going to either email, text, or send you a letter. And the company says customers can also log into their account to see if their data was affected. The data does not include customer names, but